Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here as a recording of this. It is Tuesday, May 2nd, 2023. I'm standing here on the cusp of Market Street in Celebration, Florida, and a friend of mine is in town visiting. It's Daphne. Hi. <laughs> standing next to the fountain. Does this kind of remind you of the orange circle a little bit? Yeah, it does. It's, it's like a like the deli, smaller thing. version of the orange circle. <laughs> yeah. If you will. <laughs> so today, got to do a few things. We're going to wander around Celebration, go over to Old Town. I'm excited. Yeah. Usually, when you're in town, we go to Old Town for the Saturday night cruise. Yeah. There's no Saturday night cruise today. Yeah. Because it's a weekday. <laughs> yeah, because it's Tuesday. <laughs> and also, going to go by the Big Orange. And also the what was the formerly the Purple Hotel from the Florida Project, which is now new ownership and changed around. And, it's gonna be weird seeing all it that. all normal, like all beige and stuff. Yeah. Really cool. <laughs> so we're gonna do a few things like that. Then we're gonna come back and eat at one of your favorite places here in town. Yeah, avocado. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I've been thinking about that taco salad for like a year. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna have a casual day. I'm inviting you to join me and Daphne. Shall you? I was trying to think of the last time that you were here. Has it been about a year? It's been, yeah, just over a year. I think we might file in March, so. March of last year, 22? 22, yeah. Yeah, so some things have probably changed, but some things remain the same. <laughs> some of the gators have grown up by now. Yeah, the gator, you know, it, we were, I was kind of mentioning off camera that the gators, I haven't seen a gator in the lake in a while, but I was talking to a local fisherman who's always out here, you know, a few times a week. And he said he's seen a few of them, so evidently they have just slipped past my radar since I have uh, been back in town and perusing around the lakefront. So maybe we'll see one today. Maybe you're the gator good luck charm. You're the gator whisperer. I hope I'm gator whisperer. Yeah. <laughs> see, cool. The I hope gator. I want to see them all grown up now. Grown up cool. <laughs> what is a truck pull in here? You rarely see 18 wheeler trucks in celebration. That is unusual. I don't think I've ever seen an 18-wheeler truck right here on the road over here. I look so out of place. Yeah, it's like lost. <laughs> it's so scenic. <laughs> Must be lost. This is for posterity. Never, ever have I seen an 18-wheeler driving down Market Street before. Never have. I know it doesn't seem like that big of a deal, but trust me, this is the first time I've ever seen that. Took a wrong turn in Albuquerque. One thing I definitely need is some caffeine. Kind of waited till a little later in the day to get one. Went and picked you up at the airport. Thought about getting one at the airport, which uh, notice the MCA was really, really busy. Yeah. And I didn't get a coffee there. I really kind of dragging today after doing, today was my 15th day on the treadmill in Iraq. 15 days. And it's a good thing we got in there soon because Starbucks closes at five o'clock today, which is like 40 minutes from right now. All right, we're on a quest to find a gator. I think there's something breathing in the middle. Yeah, there's always like something bubbling up right there. Oh. I call it like the, I think it's like the secret Loch Ness monster celebration. <laughs> there's like a bubbling, gurgling water down in the middle there. Usually the gators, they kind of hang out over towards the, the movie theater side. They're waiting for the theater to open like everyone else is, but it's been closed for 11 years. But yeah, you can just see the gurgling up of the water. There's some sort of monster living in there. Who knows? Ooh, there's a turtle right there. It's submerging himself down in the water. Oh, he just got shy. There's a turtle down there. Up oh, there's coming back up. The turtle's coming back up. Right there. Yeah. Look at that. It's getting a little air. Popping his head up, and he's going back under the water, submerging himself. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> so you'll be able to go over here, and you'll be able to see from whence you came earlier, because there is a there's a little little uh, LA reference over here, oh, okay. from kind of where you just you were earlier before <laughs> you arrived here. Yeah. Boy, are my arms tired. <laughs> <laughs> Two thousand one hundred and ninety-seven miles as the crow flies, I believe. <laughs> Someone splashed around in the water trying to get a sweat. Yeah, they're nice. I've never, I've never, like if you type it in, I think it's like more like 2,500 miles driving, but by a plane, 2,197. I've never confirmed that or denied that, but yeah, whatever the Burbank area. Yeah. I've also heard that when the, they originally made this fountain, they spelled Walt Disney World wrong and they no had to way. fix it. Yeah. There's, Photographic evidence somewhere, but I've never I've never found it. But 
<laughs> That's the rumor anyway. I wonder what part they spelled wrong. <laughs> I can't remember. Also, fun fact, I'm a big Eisner fan in the 90s at Disney. And one time Eisner, he did an interview where he goes, oh, I'm pretty much already at Disney. All you gotta do is change the first and last letter of my last name. I've already got the middle four net letters. So that's oh. how he was like, I'm, I'm pretty close to being a Disney. Oh but you God. change the D to an E and the Y to an R. It was a stretch for Michael, but yeah, I get what he was going for there. <laughs> the squirrel came to say hi. Hi, squirrel. Hello, squirrel. <laughs> now, this is a real squirrel. The duck that is behind the tree that the squirrel is in front of is not a real duck. That is a real squirrel, not an animatronic. There's also been rumors that when Celebration first opened and Disney built it back in the mid-90s, that they had fake animatronics. Mm -hmm. But it's just completely not true. I don't know where that... <laughs> Again, I've never seen any proof of that being here. However, there is a duck over here that is a decoy duck. Also, I should mention, if you want to follow along with my Instagram stories of me hitting the gym, my Instagram is AtW. I'll post little stories on there of me doing the... I've been getting caught up on movies. I actually watched Guardians Volume 2. I finished it yesterday and today, an hour each day. And I have named this duck Howard the Duck from, in the canon of the Marvel films, Howard the Duck, the movie with Leah Thompson playing a rocker. But I also realized that Howard the Duck is in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, so Howard is back on track, so this duck right here is gonna be very relevant very soon. Even though I think part two came out like six years ago, so I'm just now getting around to it. <laughs> oh, you looked up what Howard the Duck yeah, was? Yeah, because you've talked about it, so I was like, what does he look like? Yeah. And there's nothing that could prepare me for what he looks like. So, it, the real Howard the Duck, not not the not the decoy Howard. No, the other Howard. Yeah. I was like, whoa. Have you ever seen the movie? No. <laughs> it's interesting. Yeah. It, he looks interesting. Well, you like Bull Durham, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, you know the one guy who is like uh, the love interest? Not Kevin Costner, the other one, the pitcher? Yeah. For Bull Durham? Yeah. He is in Howard the Duck. Oh, really? Yeah. Also oh, in Shawshank. Yeah. Nice. Also in Shawshank Redemption. Oh, that's cool. I can... well, Tim Robbins. Maybe I'll see you. Tim Robbins is in it. <laughs> One die. It's part of Marvel canon, surprisingly. <laughs> Still haven't seen a gator, but I have a fun gator story during one of the most recent hurricanes. Well, it was probably six months ago. Water flooded all through here. I may have told you this, but it flooded all through oh, here, yeah. and the water came up to here. So I stood at the edge of the water like this where my shadow is. The water was right here. And I was just like, oh, look over there. I was filming over here. And I looked out and there is a gator right there. Like right there. And so it startled cool. me. It scared the uh, living you know what out of me. And there's another very friendly squirrel. Celebration has the friendliest squirrels of anywhere. Look. How you doing? Oh, over there, look, resting on top of the cypress knee. Look at that, perched like, like Danielson say, from yeah. Karate Kid. Karate Squirrel. <laughs> Karate, look at that. Remember if this is Miyagi Squirrel? Oh. Miyagi Squirrel. Training's over. Yeah. Wax on, wax off. We have just found a gator on the side of the berm here. Okay. Is that cool? Coming up to say hi to you? No, nah, just be careful because they sometimes they will run. Oh, look. Hi, little guy. Oh, he's just sunbathing. Yep, getting a little sun. That might be cool. About the size. About the right size. I do not know a lot about, I don't want to get too close to a gator. Now if Savannah was with us, Savannah could go over there and, and <laughs> boop the gator. The she would boop the gator on the nose and get Savannah from Gatorland. 
but I, yeah, I keep my distance from gators unless, unless she's like showing me around gator land. <laughs> wow, we were just saying how there's no gators and look, there's this gator sunning itself right here. All right, the gators are still in celebration. I would imagine most people probably aren't going to notice, like these bike riders probably have no idea there's a gator right down there. The gator's like, what was that? Remember the honey badger? Honey badger don't give an F. Oh yeah. <laughs> or give an S. Walked over to the secondary lake here. So this is kind of interesting because this is the kind of substance that gators will definitely hide in. There's a word for it, but take a look at this. There's another secondary Loch Ness monster over here bubbling up. There was a movie in the 80s that had the had the guy from E.T. in it. About a creature that lived in the water. I'm drawing a blank on what the name of the movie was, but yeah, it reminded me. I think it was the guy from E.T. Okay, I remember what it was. It's called The Quest. Well, when I say remember, I looked it up. But also, I guess The Quest had another name called Frog Dreaming, which I never, I always knew it as The Quest. It was also in Cloak and Dagger, one of my favorite 80s movies with Dabney Coleman. Love Dabney Coleman. You know who Dabney Coleman is? No. Sorry. You ever see 9 to 5? Yeah. He was, the, he was the boss in 9 to 5. Oh. Dabney Coleman. That's cool. I wonder if he's still alive. I'd like to meet Dabney Coleman. Yeah. Oh, he's awake. Going in. Oh. See you later, cool. So Daphne and I have decided that every gator in celebration, it's going to be like Shamu. Because there's been about 37 Shamus at SeaWorld. Yeah. So every gator is just cool now. It's just a vague statement for celebration gator. Yeah. K-O-O-L. <laughs> Would it be weird if Shamu was in this thing? <laughs> That'd be so that crazy. would be weird. <laughs> Maybe that's what like all the bubbles are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. all right, this is your first look at this place not being called the Magic Castle anymore. For some reason, I thought they would keep the name. <laughs> no, nah, it's called Developer Inn now. Developer Inn Highway. The sign has more color than the building. So thankfully, what was it a couple years ago you were out here and we were able to to get a tour around here with Chris, the writer, Chris Pergosh. He gave us a little tour of the Magic Castle from the Florida Project, Willem Dafoe's Florida Project. Well, he's in them. He's, it's not his movie, but Willem Dafoe was in it. <laughs> and the only thing that I said, I was out here like three or four months ago when they first changed the name, is the little pavement over here is still purple. Is it open? See, it still kind of looks like a castle though, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, the purple really helps. They, they took down the Magic Castle sign there, just says developer in. I don't know if it's open, but they took down the, they took down the Fitz line there. Oh, maybe not, it's a lot of <laughs> Update. Does it have the same effect when it's not purple? Yeah, it doesn't feel as magical. Oh, this still looks the same though, kind of right here. This whole office has been changed with it. The whole interior of that has been changed right through there. Hey, there's the no harm, no foul. <laughs> and then the pool over there where she was sunning her big old you know what. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> this sign still says Magic Castle, but this is dated back. March 24th of 2020. The last time I was here, I was kind of wondering what happened to the Magic Castle sign that was there and if it is in one of those little storage units over there. Evidently, they're still working on this though. I don't know if it's open or not, but it doesn't look like it's open. And just down the way a bit, a bit is another developer in. That's a developer in Fundamental 
I think development ends are just taking over everything. I remember this used to be like the Orange Hotel. Now it's called Stayable. But here's the big orange. Thankfully, did not burn down. And the inside there, kind of, it's been, you know, they got some damage inside that they're trying to fix up. But there, there's like a bunch of fruit stands out front there. They're still operational at this moment. Most of the damage was around the back and inside. When I first heard, I was out of town when the fire happened. I came by right when I got back into town to check on the update. But I had assumed that this had burned down too. But this, this is this right here is uh, the kind of this famous mural. The Welcome to Florida Take Some Home. Also seen in the Florida Project. And all the shirts that were five for ten are probably probably not for sale right now. But most of the damage was around the back. And they were saying that they're gonna fix it up and it's gonna reopen. Oh, they got the tarps up here now. They have boarded that up since the last time I was here. Cleaned it all up around the back. Yeah, just peeking in the window, they have gutted all the merchandise out of there and everything. So they're, they're starting to do a little work in there. Let's walk around the front. Yeah, so they have moved some stuff out front here. Some of the stuff that was inside. <laughs> I actually have one of these. I used to use this as a, a map pointer with my Atlas. I would use this when I would do my road trips and show the Atlas. That's pretty good. That's cute. <laughs> It's cool. Wow, a whole grapefruit spoon, like a special spoon for grapefruits. Look at this, you stick this in the top of the orange and you just like drink orange juice out of it. Oh, that's cool. There's a gator tail. How's it going? That's cool. Gator chop candy lollipops. Florida orange gum. got some of their pins out here too. I've got some pretty interesting items here over the years. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Oh, the shirts. It's all half made. I'm mine in green. You still have yours? You have the green one? Yeah, I have a dark green one with the logo. I remember you had one. I didn't remember what color it was. Fresh squeeze OJ. A gator claw right there. Can you help the last few? Ooh, I wonder if they sell these bumper stickers. Classic. And the fresh squeeze OJ there. Really good. I've had it before. Look at these koozies. Bell marmalade. Look at this gator right here, just putting out the vibe. And you can see, you can't go inside, so it's closed inside. Fire damage. Okay, you can see some of the fire damage up there, too. It looks like that um, female gremlin. <laughs> oh, from Gremlins 2? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you guys been here since we had the fire? They have Stucky's stuff here. I was like a some Stucky's pecan logs. The Stucky's brand stuff. Can you feel? So I was just talking to the guy working, and he was saying that within the next three or four months, they are hoping to have the inside back opened again. And he actually let me take a peek inside, didn't film in there. So it probably wasn't the best idea to film inside, but it's all cleaned up, gutted out, and they're going to start replacing the merchandise soon. And hopefully in the next three or four months, we'll have a re-grand opening for the inside. was also saying it started around the back it's kind of filling us in on how it all kind of went down and they think that maybe someone threw something in one of the fruit bins around the back and when it happened it was during rush hour traffic by the time the fire department got here it had taken over more than they had hoped to but in all reality could have easily just you know within a few minutes more or maybe even an hour more this whole thing could have gone up so it's definitely a staple of highway highway 192 roadside attractions and it's still here, stand strong, Orange World. And it's still open now, you can still come, you can still come and buy some of the stuff that's out front, but they said they lost about 90% of the merchandise inside. 
water damage and fire damage. Now, I can't tell you the last time I was at Old Town, it wasn't a Saturday night cruise. Definitely a different vibe on a weekday when the cruise is not happening. It's a little more mellow, a little less people, easier to find parking. <laughs> but you know, all the stores are still the same. It's just way less classic cars driving through here. Oh, you didn't realize that really is called the Vomitron? <laughs> well, I literally thought that you just like called it that. But... No, no, the name on the side, yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it is called the Vomitron. Would you do that? No. Yeah. No, and you're pretty daring on roller coasters, way more daring on coasters than I am. Yeah. And when you say you wouldn't do that, now <laughs> that kind of gives the tendency on like what, how horrifying that is. It's not even running right now. Yeah, yeah I'm good. I'm good on the, the Vomitron. But yeah, it really is called the Vomitron. <laughs> V-O-M-A-T-R-O-N. The Vomitron. This is more my speed right here. Yeah. This is more my speed. One thing is for sure being out here not on a cruise day. They do a small cruise on Wednesdays, they do a small cruise on Thursday, but Saturday, I think even Friday. So a couple days during the week they do cruises, but today they are not doing one. But it is just, uh, yes, definitely very empty out here in comparison. And it's usually kind of like this all the time, I would say. The Saturday night cruises are probably the bulk of their business here at Old Town in Kissimmee. But there's some pretty good shops. In fact, a couple of shops there, I've gotten some t-shirts out here over the years. But I would say there's probably maybe a total of 50, 50 people Maybe 50 or 100 people tops on the entire entire property. The streets are completely empty. Plenty of elbow room out here at Old Town Kissimmee on a weekday. Very mellow. And some of these stores I can remember being here since as far back as I can remember, even into the 90s. I remember my ex-roommate and I, way back in the day when we lived in Kissimmee, off Donegan, we would come up here and go to Black Market Minerals. And just, you know, this is, this is before I think maybe even before the internet was like even really a big thing. It's like, what do you want to do? Uh, let's uh, let's go to Old Town, go to Black Market Minerals and look around. Yeah, just bringing back memories of being out here. It's also interesting that a lot of these places still have their signage up. And if you've been out in public recently, this just really isn't a thing anymore. Also, this is the mother load. They look like they hit the mother load right here. Is that how you spell mother load? I never realized it was L-O-D-E. Wow, all these years I thought it was spelled differently than that for the mother load. Right? I thought it was L O A D. I think that's, something that's a diff different. That's a different load. Yeah, it's kind of interesting when you take a step inside, which also the stores. You know, definitely, like I said, there's plenty of plenty of elbow room inside the store as well. I saw it was spelled a couple different ways. In fact, it's spelled with L O A D by one of the employees. So I guess it could be spelled either way. There's also a, a, a Zoltan Zoltar machine that looks like a pirate as well. It's like a very. It's kind of got the the crazy eyes. This pirate has the crazy eyes as well. Crazy eyed pirate. Yeah, and then over here, this is probably the most secretive little sign up here. It says, shirt and shoes and something else require. But I even I wouldn't even have noticed that if you hadn't pointed that out. It's like above the door, way up top. I thought maybe it was going to say, watch your head. But it says, shirt and shoes and something else required. Yeah, who exactly walked in here without their pants on that they had to scribble that on there with four exclamation points? Maybe it was the pirate. Oh, yeah. now, you've been to Old Town a few times. You could probably see someone wandering around here without any pants, right? Yeah. You know, on, on, a, on a Saturday. Oh, for sure. And I would imagine that probably the roller coasters here at the end probably are not running either. I was thinking maybe we could go on the roller coaster, but I don't think anything is running today, except the Ferris wheel back at the other end. Also, there is a checkerboarded picnic table right here. You can play uh, chess or checkers on that table. Completely open. You even play on the seats. On the seats too. Extreme game. Yeah, while we were in there, while we were in Old Town, we went down the other side of the road and there's a place called Morton Manor, which is a really good uh, haunted house that is only open on Wednesday through the weekend that we went on a couple years ago, probably a year ago. I think last time you were here, we went on, we went through Morton Manor. But even though this is only open a few days a week, the Morton Manor haunted house walkthrough, which is pretty good for like an indie haunt. So good. But next to it is Postmortem, which is a store that has a lot of haunted stuff in it, you know, masks, accessories, little knickknacks, and whatnot, t-shirts, things like that that you can get inside the Postmortem. I think we're gonna head out of Old Town now, and also at the Groovy Shop, there's a nice little shirt here, which is a pretty good saying on it, which, well, I'm not gonna buy it, but definitely kind of, su kind of sums up a lot of how to go, go with the flow sometimes. And the most patriotic checkers in the history of existence. 
right here with all the flags on it and one up here. I was hoping to get an angle of the Vomitron was running, but now the Vomitron has stopped. It was just a little bit of a tease. Oh, there's people up there. There are people at the top of the Vomitron. Yeah, I would be, uh, I would probably be soiling myself right about that point. Look at that. There's people stuck up there. I mean, they're waiting for the other side to get let off. Look at that, they're moving around now. Oh my, we're going backwards. <laughs> the Vomitron, that's where it gets its name. The Tron of vomiting. I've, heard, I've been on Tron, but I haven't been on the Vomitron. There's a golf cart going by. Look at that. Golf cart going by with the dog. Yep, but I do love the Ferris wheel. We went on that last time, right? The I Ferris think wheel? So, yeah. yeah. I think we saw like a pink one. We've been on a lot of Ferris wheels in our day. <laughs> yeah. A lot of fairs we've been to. <laughs> Fair, Ferris wheel, fair, Ferris wheel. No correlation, or maybe there is. Also, we've been fairly good. Fairly good, I like that. <laughs> and speaking of fair type rides, there's something similar to like the mouse coaster they have at the Orange County and LA Fair. Also, you can see how windy it is right there with the, uh, the breeze. It is very, very windy. Do you think it was gonna be this windy when you landed in Florida? No, <laughs> I don't think I've ever been here when it's this windy. It's pretty windy though. Actually, this is probably the least windy of the last few days. The last couple days, there have been tornado watches and warnings for Central Florida and the coast. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no tornadoes in sight today though, which is good. A lot of wind going on in front of this BK. A lot of US flags too. I noticed no one is on the the sky swing there, a 300 foot sky swing. You know, I actually applied for a job there once. Really? Yep. Did you go on it? I, in order to get a job, this is back in the late 90s when it first opened. Yeah. I learned that when you work there, you have to ride it all day. Whenever there isn't anyone on it, they want the employees to ride it. I went up there, did it one time, and was like, I'm good. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> They're really brave. I can never really go. Yeah, it was, uh, I could probably handle it now because I've been on some more extreme things, but yeah. Oh my God. It was pretty frightening. 300 feet up in the air. And look at that with the sunburst going through the tree, the Vomitron in full effect. You know, Tron has recently opened at Magic Kingdom. I wonder if anyone has ever vomited on that, and if they have, is there some sort of legality issue because now the names are interchangeable <laughs> from one franchise to the other? Who do you think would win, Disney or Old Town? For in a legal battle. Oh, Old Town. They have such a big budget. They do, yeah. 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 <laughs> you know, while we're over here, we should go look at a screen used prop from a Patrick Swayze film, Roadhouse. Roadhouse. Big fun. You ever see Roadhouse? Yeah, I love Roadhouse. Roadhouse is good. <laughs> Dalton. You know, a lot of people make jokes about uh, Chuck Norris, but I think as many jokes are probably made about Dalton. I think Dalton and Chuck Norris from Roadhouse could probably have a, a, a battle. I don't know. I think maybe Swayze could come out on top in some situations. Oh, yeah, I put my money on Dalton. Are you going with sure. full Dalton? Yeah, what well, he did to that guy near the lake. Oh, wild. That's true, yeah. <laughs> the Swayze dog. <laughs> I heard Kevin Smith call him the Swayze dog once, and now I just call Patrick Swayze the Swayze dog all the time, thanks to Kevin Smith. And take a look, there's a gator down there too. That is not a real, that's almost like Howard the duck. Not the one from Guardians and the one from the, the old the old timey Leah Thompson film, but the one that's in the Lake Reinhardt. That's a fake gator head down there. Oh. That's not a real gator. Look oh. how it's just floated. I got really excited. Yeah, it's actually really kind of hard to see, even zoomed in on, but it's just like a floating gator head right there. I don't even think that the yeah, this isn't even running. I mean this the geyser is going up. But this isn't even this isn't even running right now nor are the go-karts over there, nor is... I'm, no I'm doing a lot of gnawing. Yeah. <laughs> These aren't either, nor are those. <laughs> and as I'm heading back to the car, I'm kind of looking over here at this sign where it says escape room, it says Havana Kiss liquor store. There's Pizza Hut on the side. I don't even think there's a Pizza Hut in this complex. Now, I always like to point this out when I'm over here. So when I was in a, I was in a band called TNT, punk band back in the day. I was in a, a few bands, but... We would always try to, well, I would always try to book shows at the most unusual non-venue places. And this was like a standard 
like bar or a coffee shop or something. Now it's a popcorn place. And I booked a show here. Oh. And we played over here in the corner. And we had like a couple hundred people, like 150 people probably showed up. And drum set was down there. And right inside here, we had a crazy group of people who were having a little circle pit, slam dancing right here. That was before those orange walls got put in. It was a lot bigger place. And everyone just kind of congregated out front back in the band days. Yeah, weird. This is probably 2003. 20 year anniversary wow. of me playing the bass guitar inside inside what is now the Kissimmee Popcorn Company. Standing right here, jumping around like a fool <laughs> and uh, motivating a bunch of people to run into each other, slam around, you know, jump around, jump, jump up, jump up and get us. That's House of Pain, but you know what I mean. All right, pulling back into celebration now next to the water tower that has no water in it. The reason I know it doesn't have any water in it because I saw one time they had it down doing some construction over there and there was no water in it. It's just for looks, but it does look cool. It's a faux water tower, kind of like Howard the Duck. I have mentioned Howard the Duck more in this video than Howard the Duck's probably ever been mentioned in the history of the last 20 years. Maybe Howard the Duck's like Beetlejuice. If you say his name three times in a row, he'll appear. He doesn't show up. There's always that weird scene in the original Howard the Duck where Howard's like busting through the wall and there is a woman duck that looks like Howard the Duck bathing in a tub. Scarred me for life. Okay, I drove over to a place called Celebration Point. It's kind of close to the Mickey Power Pole. In fact, I-4 is behind this building. So there's gonna be two Publixes in Celebration by the fake water tower on 192 is a Publix. And there's also this Publix. There's no one over here now but it looks like they are stocked up inside. Well, I can't tell, I'm just assuming that. But take a look, this opens this Thursday, May the 4th at 7 a.m. Oh yeah, I can see in there, there's definitely stock shelves in there. And I'll kind of show it from a distance. This is a very fancy and cool Art Deco looking Publix to go with the Art Deco 7-Eleven and the Art Deco Mickey D's. It's like a celebration thing. It always reminds me of being in Hollywood Studios. Yeah, here's a farther back to angle. Look at this building. That is very unique looking. I don't want to say it reminds me of the Edward Scissorhands Publix Plaza, but it kind of has that vibe in a way, that same kind of style. Also off in the distance over here, Another angle of the Mickey Power Pole. Take a look at that. Even a fancy old sign over there. I guess they're gonna have a Walgreens. UPS store, great clips, an assortment of different things. Celebration Point is what they're calling it. Gonna be open soon. First thing to open is gonna be the Publix. Pretty cool. And while over in this area, gonna check out Island Village, the newest housing development is Celebration which is coming along pretty fast. Last time I went by here was probably four or five months ago, and I have heard a lot of the homes are done and this area is really starting to come along, so I'm gonna check out Island Village. Yeah, this is really kind of sprung up fast through here. Different styles of homes, condos, apartments. Living in celebration is like living in the Truman Show. It's very windy out here. Back over at the lakefront now. The fountain in full effect. And call this magic, I guess you call it magic hour or golden hour, I guess you could say. A little silhouetted out over there. Another half hour so the sun will be submerged. You're still looking for gators? I was looking for our turtle friend. Oh yeah, the turtle. <laughs> So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go over to Avocados, which is right next to Starbucks over there, next to the Celebration Hotel. You got the diner over there in the corner, Celebration Town Tavern. 
and then avocados off in the distance. So we're gonna go to avocados and we're gonna enjoy some Mexican food. Inside avocados. Avocados used to be right, right next to Starbucks, but now it's kind of branched off and moved over one storefront to a different spot than where it was before. But it's the same, same good food. They just got more tables and stuff out front and outside and inside and highly recommend it. There's a, quite a few restaurants downtown celebration that I recommend, but I would say probably my top two or three would be avocados, Mexican food. One thing I never noticed or never noticed before, if you come down closer down the steps, closer to Lake Reinhardt here, there are lights on this side over there. You can also see the spires of the Celebration Theater kind of shining off in the distance. But I think that's gonna do it for today. You got some leftovers. I did, I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah, what did you end up getting? I got a tostada with pulled pork. And it was tostada so with pulled pork. Mm -hmm. I ended up getting a grilled chicken burrito with, that was it, rice and beans on the inside. Grilled chicken burrito, rice and beans. It's not something that's on the menu. Grilled chicken is not on the menu. But if you pay a few extra dollars, they will grill some chicken up for you, which is what I did. And I have no idea what the calorie count was, but I just guesstimated high. I get, what did I put? I put 1,200 calories in the app for the burrito, and then I put 600 in for the chips and salsa that I ate. Yeah. I think I put in 1,900 calories. It's probably a little high. I think it's a little high, but... Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Either way. It was so good. I always like to, to guess high on that, but I still, still did not go over my calorie count because I did the treadmill earlier. All right, that's going to do it for today from Celebration Florida with the spires off in the distance with Market Street right down below. I'll see you in the next video. Is someone playing a, is someone playing a, a jazz instrument down there? I can barely hear it. A None sax. Of you hear the bugs too, or like the crickets. The crickets, oh, yeah. Cool. The crickets and the bugs and the sax. <laughs> Maybe it's a sexy sax man. Remember that guy? Oh my gosh, I forgot about that. Sexy oh sax man? Yeah, that was come out of the hot tub or whatever. Yeah, he would always play. He would always play "Careless Whisper" yeah. by Wham. <laughs> oh my gosh, I forgot about that. All right, I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over.